Hello students of PSC 5032 Evaluation and Outcome Research. Uh, your first week's assignment was to read the article that you are going to be critiquing for this course uh, and with an eye to establishing the hypothesis and uh, there are a lot of things to say about the hypothesis. Uh, first of all, what is the independent variable? What is the dependent variable? Um, how were these variables concretized? or operationalized. That means how were they made testable. In order for a hypothesis to be testable, you have to have very well defined, concretized is one way to look at it, or operationalized is another way, uh, independent and dependent variables. So you should comment on uh, what the hypothesis is. Uh, you should uh, comment on how it was operationalized so that it could be testable. Um, and uh, for this week, you have to uh, look at the research article, determine uh, the sample, how it was chosen, um, and what is the design, the research design here. Uh, this is what's called a meta-analysis, which is a grouping of uh, past research uh, with a, an analysis of, uh, of the results, uh, uh, a conglomerate of the analysis of the results. The selection of studies to include in a meta-analysis is crucial to the success or validity of the analysis. Oh my goodness, validity, that's an interesting word. Uh, extraneous validity means the ability to be able to generalize the results to a larger population. And uh, you need to be thinking about that too uh, for uh, this week's uh, reading and uh, your response to me, which can be by email or you could enter it into the text box in Sakai. Um, okay, so meta-analysis is becoming one of the go-to designs for the social sciences now. And <coughs> as I just mentioned, inclusion of the studies, the criterion for inclusion of the studies is very significant. They have to be similar enough, at least in concept, um, to be able to be compared. Uh, the statistical uh, analysis of choice for meta-analysis is called effect size. And uh, effect size is simply the difference of the mean in the pre-measures versus the, the mean in the post-measures divided by the standard deviation. That's called effect size. Again, uh, the preferred statistical analysis for looking at meta-analysis is the uh, pre, the mean of the pre-tests, whatever measures they took, versus the mean of the post-tests, whatever measures they took. And that distance between the means divided by the standard deviation. Now, the standard deviation of the pretest is likely to be different from the standard deviation of the post-test. Post so in order to find effect size, you have to average the two. Um, that's all you really need to know about effect size right here. It's commonly called Cohen's D. Um, so anyway, uh, to reiterate about the hypothesis, be sure you've identified the independent variable, the dependent variable, how those are operationalized. Uh, or concretized. And uh, I'll respond to each of your emails as well. Uh, you guys take care. Stop by on Tuesdays to see me if you'd like. I'm in room 118.